inhabit the form of these sort of customized personalities, right? So you can play as Mario. Now there's Luigi that kind of always runs around, kind of do his own thing. And Luigi is also programmed. He has certain catchphrases, certain words that he says. And then, you know, same thing with Mario. Mario has certain catchphrases, certain things that he says, except think like a hyper advanced Mario. But now it's a creation, an amalgamation of like a real Mario, you know, and everything he'd ever said around his phone, everything he ever, like all of his thoughts that were kind of scrubbed by whatever technology to comprise this like digital character. And now Mario can just be controlled by the game, like Nintendo or whatever, or Mario can be controlled by an active player who is now choosing to, or who chooses to play, to exist as Mario the Plumber in this particular world. So there are princesses kind of running around that could be controlled by the game, but every once in a while, you know, somebody can decide to hop into and play as Princess Toadstool. And then they have the game experience as though they were temporarily as they're playing, they could have the experience to feel what it's like to play as a princess or feel like what it's like to play as Mario, right? But I'm saying like, imagine if Mario was an actual person in a real world in which the Mario that we've come to understand now was like, quote unquote, loosely based on. And I'm saying you take that and you expand it and apply it to our reality, right? Where you, the person that you see when you look in the mirror, the person that you've chosen to identify with, you're actually just playing an avatar. You're actually just playing the character of whatever your name is. Let's say Jolie, right? But Jolie is actually based on like a real person who existed thousands of years ago, wherein a lot of the technology that we are playing with right now existed, but was much more advanced right it's this world has been referred to by elon musk for example and others i'm only saying his name because of like just to bring to mind what he'd said that this world could be there's a potential i think it was like a 20 25 percent chance i think it was nick bostrom that originally said this and then like elon musk publicized it or whatever so let's give the credit to nick bostrom but he said there's a 25 percent chance that this could be some sort of ancestral simulation but when you think ancestral you want to think about like people you know ancient days who maybe don't have access because you've been programmed or didn't have access to technology because you've been programmed to think that this is the most technologically advanced that you know earth has ever been but what if it's not what if that's just another sort of lie and you do know that we stay being lied to so what if that's just another lie just another delusion that we've been programmed with to really distort what this world truly is 